This man was staring at the opposite side through the glass. It turned out that there was a beautiful woman in the fitting room across the street. A fact, the beauty is not a human being, but a simulated cyborg. Their bodies are copied from human women. Then the cyborg walked towards him. Caleb excitedly introduced himself to her, looking at the beautiful cyborg in front of him. Caleb, who has been single for 30 years, is overwhelmed with excitement. However, his boss, Nathan, was watching their every move. The next day, Caleb finds Nathan and expresses his surprise. Nathan tells him that Ava is the next generation of intelligent cyborgs, and that Caleb's role here is to act as a tester for this great research. At night, Caleb can't sleep, remembering the events of the day. He turned on the TV to try and lighten the mood. On the screen was a video of Ava's room. Gradually, he became mesmerized watching Ava. The next day, Caleb came to Ava's door again. Ava takes out a painting for Caleb to share and offers to make friends with him. Caleb is shy but agrees. At that moment, the power suddenly goes out in the villa. Ava's expression immediately turns serious and tells him not to trust Nathan's words. After the power was restored, Ava immediately reverted to her previous gracious self. At this moment, Caleb feels that there must be a secret. At dinner, Nathan asks him about Ava's behavior during the power outage. Caleb thinks for a moment and doesn't tell the truth. At night, Caleb returns to his room and stares at Ava on the screen. Ava turns her head to look at her, and it's clear that Caleb has fallen in love with Ava. The robot is in front of the closet picking out clothes. When she puts on her clothes, she looks like a real human woman, and she's all dressed up just for the man in front of her. Do you think about me when we aren't together? When Ava asks this question, Caleb hesitates. At night, Caleb watched Ava in the house through the monitor. Her every move sends Caleb into an uncontrollable deep dive. The next day his boss, Nathan, tells him that Ava has all the characteristics of a woman. Scientifically, she's a robot. Biologically, she's a woman. Nathan's words are all it takes to get Caleb to fall in love with her. That night, Nathan continued to watch them on the screen. Then the power goes out again. Ava tells Caleb that Nathan has been spying on him and that the blackout was intentional. Caleb goes to Nathan to talk about it. Nathan admits to spying on him and warns him never to trust a cyborg because Ava is just an experiment. Later that night, Caleb sees Nathan enter Ava's room and tear up the painting she drew for Caleb and that set Caleb on fire. He went straight to Nathan's house to find him. The only person in the house is Kyoko the robot. As soon as Caleb arrived in front of Kyoko, she was ready to undress. Caleb was at a loss for words, and then Nathan came back from Ava's house. Caleb accused him of tearing up Ava's painting, but Nathan ignored him and danced in front of him with Kyoko. So Caleb stole Nathan's access card while he was drunk. He went to Nathan's computer and discovered a secret. It turned out that Nathan had invented robots similar to Ava's before, but the end result was that the robot was driven insane and then restored to his factory settings. The man opened the closet with a heavy face, and it was full of beautiful robots. It turns out that this villa is a secret base for cyborg research. After returning to his room, Caleb thought back to what he had just seen. His mind was a mess. Caleb went to the bathroom and flicked his eyelids. He suspected that he was also a cyborg. Caleb then takes advantage of the power, outage to go to Ava's door, and discusses his escape plan with her. Caleb plans to get Nathan drunk again the next day and take her with him. But surprisingly, Nathan had already discovered their plan. It turns out that there was a backup camera installed in the room. But Caleb didn't go through with it. He told Nathan that what he and Ava had just done was an act for Nathan. The door to Ava's room was already open. Nathan hits Caleb with a punch that knocks him out, and he falls to the ground. Ava looks at Kyoko in front of her and says something in secret into her ear. Nathan comes into the hallway and asks Ava to go back to her room. Ava comes right at him and pushes Nathan to the ground with a single bump. But the strong Nathan breaks free and breaks Ava's arm with a blow. Just as he was about to destroy Ava, Kyoko attacked Nathan from behind. It turns out that Ava had just secretly rewritten Kyoko's program. Nathan used his last ounce of strength to kill Kyoko. Ava got the access card from him. She then went to the fitting room and changed into a new arm and artificial skin. Ava is now a real human woman. Then she locked Caleb in the base and walked out alone. It turned out that Ava had planned all this beforehand. Caleb was just a pawn in her plan. She took advantage of Caleb's feelings and trust. When Ava stood on the street, who could tell if she was a human or a robot? This is the end of the movie. Thank you for watching.